Hi everyone. Uh, so I'm I'm here to, uh, to uh, like talk about uh, flapping wing aerial robots. These are like typically bio inspired, or it's not like exactly bio mimicking, but uh, like inspiring from uh, flapping birds, like and all. Uh, so uh, be uh, before we start, like uh, let me introduce like m uh, myself. So. I've been like contributing to Beagle Board since uh, 20, 22. So I'm a like GSOC student over there like, back then. And also like have been like improving their uh, embedded Linux image for those uh, custom like add-on boards. Uh, and also uh, in this work, uh, so I was like able to like showcasing like some of the uh, community members work i mean previous years work so uh, like this would be an kind of uh, case study where like how like beagle boards like single board i mean uh, open source single board hardware can be used as a, a, fl a flight controllers and all uh, uh, so yeah uh, uh, this is a like beagle plaf so uh, it has like onboard electronics which uh, carries uh, bagel bone black and also uh, he, uh, here are like some of like specs like it has like kind of 1.4 meter long wing with a density of 80 grams per meter square and also for in yaw and pitch control we have like uh, elevator and rudder so uh, basically uh, this uh, model was like inspired by eagle size if you see like in, uh, in, in the uh, typical uh, uh, word size, like there is like uh, uh, compared to like weight and wing uh, ratios matters based on things. So uh, this, uh, this uh, particular like parameters were like selected based on eagle and all. Uh, and like uh, these are like some of top side and front view of the beagle plaf. Uh, so uh, here, like uh, coming to the uh, Beagle pla uh, Plaf, like we were like using Beagle as a, like a flight controller. So uh, what we did is like uh, like uh, community members from uh, Beagle were uh, uh, using like DIY approach to like uh, build like our own a flight controller based on like Linux and all. So here, like we were like just like using very uh, low cost uh, sensor modules for like IMU or barometer, everything, uh, and just like replacing with uh, some add-on board uh, on the top of this single board computer. Uh, uh, so if you see that. Uh, uh, Basically, like uh, uh, original uh, part of Ardu pilot were like uh, ported by Beagle board like since in like 2014, uh, and like there are like community like people from there like uh, Micro and uh, other Ardu pilot community uh, continued their work on I mean uh, making like Linux ports for Ardu pilot and. Uh, it goes on like 27 uh they build one uh custom like robotic uh, controller based on beagle bone black and and there is like miniature version of that beagle bone black is like pocket beagle cape and also like someone from a community like juvinsky also improved like another version of bbb mini uh so so if you see like uh, Beagle Plaf has this uh, typical setup. Currently, like it was like running Debian with a uh, uh, 5.10 RT kernel. I mean, real time kernel, and also like running autopilot 4.4.1, and also uh, and the uh, basic sensors we were we were like, using for initial measurements. Everything uh, like some nine axis like IMU and varometer. And for like uh, 
autonomous like outdoor navigation we were like integrating uh, gps module via uart and also like uh, uh, coming to these input ports and all so beagle has like uh, uh, really these like ch tiny microcontrollers named like uh, pru's so like pru is like stands for programmable real time units so uh, in this like uh, specific case we, uh, we we were like using prus for uh, sbus input i mean rc input and other other pru for rc uh, rc like output i mean uh, pwm uh, outputs and also uh, we have like uh, integrated some like can bus receiver as well uh, if you see like uh, this is a like typical uh outline of like it has like onboard gps telemetry receiver and running a bagel bone black with like uh, custom like diy cape based on like bbb mini uh and some like outer and motor for uh that uh, flapping gearbox mechanism and all uh so uh, before this uh, uh basically like i was like doing uh, these things as a hobby thing like i mean uh, building like replicating uh flapping kind of structures and all so uh, like uh, this was our initial model running uh, without beagle bone black This was running with beagle bone black with a custom add-on cape. Uh, so you might like wonder like uh, how we are like using Ross on this uh, flapping robot. So uh, before this, like if you see like. Uh, uh, uh like basically these a uh, flapping wing robots are like pretty new to uh, new or like emerging areas in like aerial robotics and like uh we don't find much uh, uh control possibilities and all so we were like uh, using a, a framework named drone force so uh, what is does is like uh, we can like write our custom controller and like loaded with offload uh basically uh, so uh, uh this uh, this uh, drone force framework was uh, built at uh, rrc lab at triple uh, hyderabad where uh, where right now i'm like working as a research intern there so uh, so i was like uh, uh, integrating this uh, uh, drone force framework with mavros to uh, run the like cross one like cross neotic on this uh, flapping robot uh, so uh, 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 basically like for the so uh, these are the like typical uh, features of like a drone force we uh, we can like set, uh, set up a custom frames like control logic and also like we can do like uh, like software in the loop uh, hardware in the loop simulations as well uh, so if you see like uh, most of the like am planners or gcc or like even ardu ardu pilot uh, is like doesn't have like frames for flapping wing robot right so we need to uh, customly uh, integrate our uh, frames like uh, uh, so for that like we uh, we were like using this thing and uh, like uh, these are like simple uh, installation and usage so we were like 
uh, using like uh, right now drone force like framework where hosted like GitHub, and we were using Autopilot and uh, Gazebo Autopilot integration, uh, and like there are some uh, requirements. It has like uh, drone kit, five uh, map link, and uh, and and other required. Uh, so so in uh, yeah. In like uh, order to like run like ROS like workstation, you need to have some ROS neotic one. Uh, and uh, for that, like almost like Beagle has like onboard like telemetry and all. We were like using a uh, Mav link uh, through like UDP protocol to connect to it and like launching like ROS uh, like uh, integrating ROS with like Mav ROS. Uh, and also we were like logging data and with like ROS back and all. And uh, uh, coming to like writing custom controller, like still like we were exploring and I mean, we uh, uh, we were like trying out existing thing. And uh, uh, coming to like uh, simulation part of uh, flapping robots, if you see like the High fidelity simulators like uh, Gazebo. I mean, uh, uh, it was like uh, doesn't have like enough like aerodynamic capabilities to extend uh, uh, those the uh, those uh, those uh, uh, plugins to simulate this model. But uh, coming to like CAD model and all like recent uh, Gazebo Harmonic has like uh, new uh, new future call like. Uh, Mimicking constraint where uh, where we can we can uh, uh, like simulate those uh, fl uh, flapping gear mechanism. So right now like we were like using transfer shaft gearing mechanism with a uh, uh, y planar thing. So uh, we, uh, we need to like get to like uh, try out that thing. And like. Uh, Coming to like why like do it yourself designs for robotics and all. So before like starting this Beagle Plaf project, like I had like some requirements. I need to like make these uh, flapping robot towards f fully autonomous. So like I need the uh, uh, hardware stack which runs Linux uh, and also so uh, and uh, and like and like most of the Linux platforms runs like ROS and all right. So it would be uh, easier uh, for us to uh, rather than like buying like off the shelf like flight controller and again uh, integrating with uh, custom like uh, uh, onboard computer like it will be like heavy like there are some payload restrictions for that like flapping bit. So here like we were like using uh, uh, Beagle board, I mean, a uh, single board computer as uh, as like acting as a flight controller just by integrating uh, basic very low cost sensors like IMU and all. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, basically, uh, we need like more uh, more like uh, tools like Arduino Pilot and and coming to in terms of like hardware. Beagle board and all uh, plays a like major role in uh, do it yourself designs because uh, if you see like uh, uh, most of the schematic designs like everything is like completely like open so we can like just like fork the keycard files customized like based on our uh, robotic design and do it and also more more uh, interestingly. Uh, with this like case study, I want to just like show that we can leverage like DIY toolkits to uh, like assemble like systems such as complex like systems can be assembled, modified by a, a maker or like complete beginner in the field. And also to, to achieve the uh, reproducible builds, like coming to like software and all, we can, we can reproduce like most of the stuff like out there but uh, uh, coming to like hardware design and all we need like everything like uh, keep it open like including like 
uh, schematics and those keycard files and uh, all the like uh, outlines and all. And like moreover, uh, we need to like emphasize on like uh, like uh, like community driven modification. So uh, specifically, like coming with this uh, uh, project, like uh, Beagle Board community, like helped us like a lot in like. Uh, uh, porting the like code to autopilot and uh, integrating all of this stuff. So yeah, and like these are some like websites of like BeagleBoard and we had like forum, Discord channel and uh, IRC as well. Like. And, and also like every week like there will be like community meeting like BeagleCast where um, members will come over like and talk out about things. And also uh, we uh, all, all, all these like projects were like hosted at git.beagleboard.org and you can go through documentation, image distribution and yeah, uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. I think we all enjoyed that video, right? He does deserve a bigger round of applause. Can we have that please? Thank you so much for the presentation.